is up guys? Welcome to another episode of Toy Talk with Tommy the Hammer. Today we're going to be taking a look at this Sonic the Hedgehog heli ball of sorts. This one is much more elaborate than uh, the Spider-Man heli ball that I had uh, a couple months back. Uh, and this one comes with a remote control. My girlfriend got me this um, after her trip to New York. She stopped by one of the local Dave & Busters and brought me back this awesome Sonic the Hedgehog heli ball. And I can't wait to try it out. So you guys are going to be checking this out with me. We're going to be doing a real quick unboxing here. And when it comes down to the character of Sonic the Hedgehog, well, I've been a fan since day one. Now, when you buy the Sega Genesis that comes with Sonic 1, you'll get Sonic 2 absolutely free. Sonic 2 handles stubborn stains, embarrassing bald spots, no problem. It even slices and dices, makes thousands of julienne fries. Back in the day, me and my brother had a Sega Genesis, and one of the first games we ever got was Sonic the Hedgehog. We played that game to death, and it is a classic, without a doubt, and the character himself is just prolific. So I'm pretty stoked to be given this toy a peek. Why don't you guys check out some of the box art? Uh, this one is really nice. It's very large, very elaborate. Uh, Sonic looks great on the inside of the package there, and uh, you know it's you know that classic Sonic the Hedgehog colors. You know deep navy blues, a lot of oranges and reds, and uh, I love the way he's designed. There's so much care and detail that went uh, into this character. Uh, it appears to be licensed by Sega themselves, so you know this toy is going to be um, of somewhat quality. Uh, Sega is a really cool company, and it's a shame they don't make video game systems anymore, uh, but it's awesome that they still do make video games, even though uh, some of the later Sonic the Hedgehog games uh, left a lot to be designed. Um, but I still love the character, he's one of my favorites, and I'm happy to have this toy. So let's go ahead and do an unboxing here. This one looks like it's going to be pretty easy to enter, just a single strip of tape at the top. Okay, it appears that you have to charge up the actual Sonic figure himself. I was actually wondering uh, how that was going to work. And right here comes a little plastic bag with the cord, presumably the, the cord that you use to charge him with. There also appears to be some sort of docking bay that kind of comes with this figure. Um, probably just to hold up the action figure itself uh, when you're not keeping it in the box. Personally speaking, I'm going to be keeping this one in the box on display. It's too cool not to. So there you guys have it. That's the action figure heli ball and the remote it comes with. I'm going to go ahead and charge Sonic up. Hopefully it charges real quick. I want to give you guys a quick little test flight of this heli ball and we'll see if it's as good as the Spider-Man. Okay, so the instruction said not to fly the Sonic heli ball outside and naturally I'm going to go ahead and do the exact opposite. I got two cats. I'm not trying to have this thing fly into their faces or anything like that. I tried this out earlier and it actually worked inside. Uh, when I tried to do it outside, nothing happened. So let's see if we can get Sonic to lift off indoors. Man, holy shit, is this thing hard to control. Man. Parker, 
Guys, as you can see, the Sonic Heli Ball works, but I gotta be honest with you, it's immensely difficult to control. Uh, so much so that the actual toy itself isn't much fun to play with. Uh, I was standing there, you know, using the remote, and I feel like it takes off way too quickly. Uh, this is the type of thing that you want to kind of ease into, and, you know, the toy just kind of rockets off. Uh, if I had to give this toy a star count, I could only award it maybe a four and a half or a five. It might get a higher uh, star count um, if I gave it a little bit more time, and if I understood, you know, straight away that these types of, you know, helicopter toys are difficult to control and take some mastering. But right out, you know, right out of the gate, right out of the box, uh, this is definitely not for someone that's looking to just kind of dive into the toy. This is going to take a slight bit of a learning curve, and that's why I can only give it a four and a half, five star.